Big news! Recently, Microsoft has unveiled a prototype analog optical computer. But what does this mean? How is it different from everyday semiconductor based computers? Let's try to break it down. All our laptops, phones and servers that run today, they work on semiconductor technology, basically silicon chips. They process information using electrical signals that is 0 and 1 carried by electrons. Now this has worked brilliantly for decades, but there's a catch. As we demand more computing powers for artificial intelligence and new emerging technologies, these silicon chips heat up, energy consumption shoots up and we need more cooling power as we are going for more and more miniaturization. Now, in an optical computer, replace electrons with photons. In optical computers, particles of light carry information. Particles of light are responsible for algorithmic logic. Instead of electricity flowing through the circuits, light beams do the job. Light can travel faster in parallel and without heating up like electrons do. That means potentially much faster and more energy efficient computing. Let's compare. Semiconductors have worked very well. They have been mature, they are reliable, they are relatively cheaper, but their energy consumption is very high. Along with it, they have physical limits. Optical computing will be super fast and low energy consuming, which is capable of parallel processing. The current analog optical computer developed by Microsoft can perform 500 tera operations per watt, which is 100 times more efficient than the NVIDIA's H100. Also, unlike quantum computers that work at very low temperatures, the optical computers can work at room temperature. This Microsoft prototype shows how optical computing could be a game changer, especially with the era of artificial intelligence and massive data processing coming in. So the future of computing might not just be semiconductor or silicon based. I would say it would be silicon plus light. The semiconducting chips powered our digital age. I can say the optical computing chips will power the age of artificial intelligence. That's all for today. If you found this explainer useful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Rahulverse.